Alex with windowcleaner.com. We were lucky enough to get our hands on this Unger HydroPower RO unit. So I'm gonna show you how it works, what it does, the features that make this very uniquely Unger, and then we're gonna set it up and use it on these windows here and show you how it really works. The Unger HydroPower RO is a three-stage system. So up front, you have a carbon pre-filter. It's gonna also remove sediment, 21-inch RO membrane, and a small refillable DI cartridge, also 10 inch. The HydroPower RO features top quality in and out fittings on here. They're not plastic, nothing's gonna break on you. There is a work mode and an RO flush mode, built-in TDS meter, pressure gauge, gallon meter. Around the back, there's controls for the pump. The pump will also shut off if it senses there's not enough water coming to it, so it's gonna save itself. And on the side, there's an off, pure and tap boost mode, which we'll show you when this thing's in action. Okay, so we've connected tap water to the inlet of the HydroPower RO, and supplied with the HydroPower RO is a 3 8 inch outer diameter hose. It's a higher flow hose in the standard 5 16 inch. So this is gonna connect to the outlet of the system, and they also give you a reducer from 3 8 to 5 16, so it can connect to extra, uh, extra tubing or right to the tubing on the brush. I'm gonna hook this up to the rinse bar on the end light pole. And the other end, connected. And the water's on, so we're already gonna have a little bit of flow coming through here. Uh, you can use this non-powered, but it does have the booster pump, so it's recommended use the booster pump. It's gonna make a nice amount of water on here. The unit is plugged into power. There is a GFCI protection uh, unit on there, so just make sure you click that to reset. And then on the side here, we have tap, boost, and pure. We're gonna switch it to pure. And we're gonna start producing water here. The wastewater is flowing right now. The gallon meter is going. The PSI gauge is giving us a reading, and we're in business. It's running through all three filters and we should begin to see water any second. So this is the flow that you can expect when running the booster pump. As you can see, we're using the rinse bar and getting a tremendous amount of flow through here. So right now we're in pure mode and we're gonna switch it to the tap boost mode, which again, bypasses the filters and just gives you a ton of tap pressure, tap water. So now we're using just tap water, it's not filtered, and as you can see, that is a tremendous amount of pressure because it's tap water that's boosted through the pump on the HydroPower RO. Again, great for just cleaning up nasty sills, anything that doesn't need to be spot free like awnings or just removing spider droppings, spider webs, eggs, all that stuff, even bird droppings with a tremendous amount of flow that doesn't need to be spot free. Once that's all cleared up, Switch back to pure, you'll see the pressure go back to normal. This is still excellent pressure, and you are in business cleaning with pure water. As I mentioned, on the back of the unit, there is a bit of a pump controller, meaning you can reset the pump. It will turn itself off if it senses that there is a decrease in pressure coming into the unit, so the pump is smart. It's not gonna burn itself out. There's a reset on there, you can hold that. It'll reset and go back to work. Changing the filters on this is fairly easy. Again, it's a pre-filter up front, so it's a sediment carbon filter. And then the DI here, a wrench is included to loosen those housings. They'll come right out, change it right in the field, piece of cake. The only thing that was a little bit challenging is putting the RO membrane in here. This unit does not ship with the membrane installed. A few turns of a screw and you gotta take the bottom plate off and you can put the membrane in, but it really installed no problem whatsoever. When you're done working for the day, you can switch this to RO flush mode, and it's just gonna rush water over and through the RO membrane. Do that for a minute or so, and you're good to go. Having the gallon meter on board a system like this is excellent. It really lets you keep track of your filter usage. You can make a spreadsheet and make notes of when you change your pre-filters, when you change your DI, and eventually when you change your RO membrane to make sure that this is running as optimal as possible. Because this is a unit with a pump, you can easily run two water-fed poles off here. Uh, you would just need a simple splitter. That's a piece of cake. You can do that no problem. Uh, it is got some weight to it. It is compact that it's you know not very tall, 
but because of the pump on board, there is some weight to it. So you would need a second set of hands getting in and out of a vehicle, but a very robust, exactly what you'd expect from Unger, really well built. Uh, everything does have a purpose and it's a really, really nice unit. I look forward to cleaning all of our windows with this. For more information on the Unger N-Lite poles and Unger hydropower systems, head over to windowcleaner.com.